Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how we can plot real-time data using Python and for this we will be using the matplotlib library in Python and the example of the live data that we are going to take will be the CPU usage percentage. So we will be plotting the CPU user percentage um, live, right? So that is what we are going to do and without any delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me do some imports that I am going to need. Um, it's the time library it's PSUtil library. So PSUtil is a third party library which provides you the CPU usage percentage um, right now, right? So for that you can just simply install it using a simple pip command which is pip install PSUtil and then um, importing matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. So these are the imports that I'm going to need and now I have to um, configure the matplotlib settings a bit so that they can be used in the Jupyter notebook as well. So for doing that I'm just going to put a macro matplotlib notebook so that I can have my plots in the notebook itself and also um, I have to do a, some setting with the RC params of the matplotlib pyplot module in which I have to set animation dot animation animation dot html as um, I think js html right so yeah so these are this is these are the two things that you have to do in order to configure your matplotlib so that you get um, the plot the live plot in the Jupyter notebook itself so once that is done we are ready to make our matplotlib figure so we're just going to define our matplotlib figure as plt dot figure so this is my figure and now um, in matplotlib a figure can have multiple subplots so right now I'm just going to define a single subplot uh, for my figure so that is like fig dot add subplot in which I'm just going to pass 111 so it's a three digit code which means that I need um, uh, I need at the first position I need a single um, subplot in the first row of the first column of my figure so this is how it goes like and then um, yeah so that's it and then finally fig.show so fig.show will just display your figure in the form of a um, nice JS made display so look at that this is um, your figure window um, which has been rendered by some cool JavaScript code so that's that's our figure right now which is totally empty there's nothing there and now um, we are just gonna provide it some real-time data and that data will be getting updated and that will be shown in this particular figure itself okay so let's do that now um, I'm just gonna define i equal to 0 so this will be my um, variable for keeping the track of the iterations that I'm gonna do and then I have x comma y equal to two empty list these lists will be holding my x and y axis data and now while true I'm just gonna make an infinite loop so first of all I need to calculate the value which I need to append to the x list and the value which I need to the append to the y list so x dot append i will do the work for me and now to the y axis I need to append the CPU uh, usage percentage so how can you get that that's very easy you have to do psutil dot cpu percent so this is the function and look at that if I just keep running it again and again I get the different um, CPU usage percentage values which are the live CPU usage percentage values so I'm just gonna copy it and put it in my Y list so this will be getting appended to my Y list in each iteration so this is how I get my data to be plotted and now to plot it it's simple ax dot plot x comma y and also let's say the color is going to be um, blue let's say okay so yeah that's done and now um, it's time to update our figure with this particular data so for doing that it's fig dot canvas dot draw like this okay and also we'll be needing some time delay between um, successive updates of our figure so for doing that I'm just gonna do time dot sleep um, let's say 0 0.1 seconds and finally i plus equal to 1 so that we keep um, increasing our um, iteration value 
counter value so that x axis keeps moving so yeah that's it and now I'm just gonna run it okay so look at that this is my live um, plotting of the CPU usage of my computer so this is happening right now in the form of this plot right so yeah this is how you do it and it's looking pretty cool right so one thing that you can notice about this plot is that this is getting um, compressed like contracted with each increasing value right so this will um, look a bit messy if it just keeps um, getting contracted more and more so for um, getting through this problem we can do a simple workaround which is um, by which is setting the x axis limits um, as our um, x axis value keeps increasing so let's see how we can do that before that let me stop this particular plot so I've just stopped it by interrupting my kernel and now um, what I can do now is that I can just set my x axis limits I can just reset my x axis limits by defining what should be my left value what should be my right value so I would like my right, left value to be um, let's say i minus 50 and I would like my right value to be i plus 50 so let's say if my uh, if I am on my um, let's say 150th iteration that is i equal to 150 then in that case I would like um, this value to be 100 and this value to be 200 and my live plot will be moving something around the center so that is how it will look like so I'm just gonna do this like this um, let's keep it max of i max of um, 0 comma i minus 50 so that we do not see negative values initially and on the right let's keep it i plus 50 so this will set my x axis limits um, and yeah our plot will look better so yeah that's done and now also let me just close my plot for now so that all everything gets refreshed so now I run it my figure is being displayed and now going back going down let me run this thing now let's check it okay so we are around 70 right now 80 okay so look at that after 100 we are not getting contracted instead um, our x axis is also moving so that uh, we get uh, only the live data not the old data so this is looking perfect now we are getting the um, all the live data in the form of a very cool plot using matplotlib and yeah this is how to do it and if you still have any doubt you can post them in the comment section below I think that's enough for this video thanks for watching